presenting the adventures of Jungle Jim. In last week's program, Shanghai Lil defied Bluger openly, demanding that he free Jungle Jim and his companion. Angered by this defiance, Bluger confined Shanghai Lil to her apartment in the castle and ordered Lin Fu, his chief of staff, to place a guard over her. Shanghai Lil informed Lin Fu that she is a secret agent of the national government at Shanghai. As the program ended, Jungle Jim and Kolo had just received a mysterious message which brought them hope of escape. The thrilling adventures of Jungle Jim are pictured each Sunday in the Comic Weekly, the world's greatest pictorial supplement of humor and adventure. The Comic Weekly, each page printed in full colors, is distributed everywhere as an integral part of your Hearst Sunday newspaper. As our story opens today, we find Jungle Jim and Kolo discussing plans for their escape and the rescue of Lynn Chalmers. My hunch is right, Colo. We're going to get out of this place. Who message come from, Twan? Mm, I wish I knew the answer to that. It would help a lot. Here. Let's look at that note again. Mm, tonight, a new sentry will guard your cell. Watch him closely. Signed, Operative 13. Operative 13, him friend, Twan Jim. Mm, sounds like it, Colo. Twan Jim, huh? Sentry, come back. Yeah, I can hear him. Look, Juan Jim, new guard. Sentry him, big fella. A new one, eh? Well, I wonder what that means. Him act like he no want other guard to see him. Him look back quick when he go by. You see? Yeah, I did, Cole. Him come back, Juan. He's a big fellow. Looks like one of those North Country Chinese. I wonder what he's doing here with this bunch of cutthroats. Juan Jim, him stop. Come back some more. See? Him hide something in shirt. You're right, Colo. Here. I'm going to get close to these bars. Here he comes. Don't him look. Him throw something. It's a key, Colo. With a note tied to it. By Jove, things are happening faster than I thought. What note say, Twan? Just a minute. Listen to this, Colo. Yes, it won. Jump the sentry. Bind and gag him, but do not harm him as he is a friend. He will give further directions. Signed, Operator 13. Same man sent other note, Twan. Yeah. I wonder who this Operator 13 is. While this scene is taking place in the cell beneath the castle, Derek Bluger makes his way toward the apartment where Shanghai Lil is held under guard. Halt. Stand where you are. Put that gun down, you fool. I'm your commanding officer. What name, please? I'm Derek Bluger, commander-in-chief of the Purple Triangle Forces, you half-witted imbecile. Oh, very sorry, Most High Superior. Very, very sorry. Not half as sorry as you're going to be. Who stationed you here, anyway? His Excellency, General Lin Fu, Most High Superior. Oh, he did, eh? But where is he now? Where is who, Most High Superior? General Lin Fu, you fool. Who do you think I'm talking about, Santa Claus? Him leave White Missy apartment two, three hours ago. All right. I'm going to that apartment. If you see General Lin Fu, tell him I want to see him right away. Yes, Most High Superior. I see, I tell. See that you do. For a century, you're the dumbest egg I ever saw. You're dead from the neck up. I'd be doing you a favor if I finish the job, and maybe I will. Well? That's just to let you know I'm coming in, Lil. Oh, you're getting very polite, aren't you, Derek? I didn't come up here to listen to your wisecracks, Lil. Of course not, Derek. You just came to tell me a bedtime story. Lay off that stuff, Lil. That sharp tongue of yours is going to lead you right up before a firing squad one of these days. I'm sure you'd be glad to arrange that for me, Derek, dear. Listen, Lil. We've been through a lot together, you and I. We've been mighty good friends for a long time. And I'm crazy about you. Mm. You know that I'd share anything in the world with you. 
Am I to understand I'm free to leave this apartment any time I wish, Derek? Any time you'll be reasonable, Lil. Oh, Derek. They should call you Bluger the Big-Hearted. Lil, let's be serious. What do you know about this General Lin Poo? Well, Derek, I know that he's he's fat and that he wheezes like a whale when he walks upstairs. Uh-huh. And, uh, oh, yes, yes. I don't believe his eyes quite match either. You know what I'm talking about, Lil. What I mean is he entirely trustworthy. Well, Derek, since you want to know, I'll tell you. You've got a lot of spies in this camp. Mm-hmm. They're all around you, and I think your friend Lin Fu is the head man of that spy ring. What makes you think so? I thought I gave orders to have that telephone disconnected. Like a lot of your orders, Derek, it was never carried out. Uh, do you want me to answer it? No, I'll answer it. I'll be interested in knowing who's trying to get in touch with you. Hello? Yep. What's that? Where's General Lin Fu? No, you haven't. Well, I'll be down immediately. You look worried, Derek. What's the matter? Nothing that I can't take care of. Just some of these half-witted soldiers yelling for their money. Well, that's strange. I thought they were fighting for glory. I'll settle this little matter, and then I'm coming back. I want to talk to you again. Anytime, Derek, dear. You know how I love your company. Oh, would you like to have me come with you, Derek? No. Oh, thank you, Derek. The message which Bluger received in the apartment of Shanghai Lil told of a demand on the part of his troops for money. Hurrying to his quarters, he ordered that General Lin Pu be sent to him. But the general could not be found. Bluger then sent for the commander of the airplane squadron, Major Wang Si, and commanded him to promise the men their pay, and then bring Lin Chalmers to him. Bluger's orders were carried out, and as our scene opened... Now we find Major Wong Si escorting Lin back to her cell after her talk with Bluger. I'm here, White Messie. Jim, Jim. Uh, hurry, Cole. Lin is back. Help me up to that transom again. Yes, it's one. <laughs> Jim. Yes, Lin. Here I am. What happened? Where did they take you? They took me to Bluger, and he ordered me to write to Father asking for 10,000 pounds. Oh, so that was it. Yes, Jim. But he said if the money wasn't here in 48 hours, then have me shot. Well, don't you worry about that, Lynn. But, Jim... Listen. We got a friend in camp. Who is it? I don't know yet. But the new sentry in this corridor threw a key to us with a note tied to it. A new sentry? Yeah. A great big fellow. I never saw him before. Why, that fits the description of the man who took me up to Bluger and who just brought me back here. Well, go on. It is the same man. He's not a sentry, Jim. Well, who is he? He's the air squadron commander, Major Wong C. Really? Now, listen, Lim. Yes, Jim? We're getting out of here soon. Just how, I don't know. But I want you to be prepared. All right, Jim. I will be. Good. Just sit tight. All right, Colo. <laughs> that sentry, he come by two times while you talk to Missy Chalmers. Colo... The time has come to act. I think this key will unlock the door of our cell. Good. Just as I thought. Run, Jim. Huh? Sentry, he come back. All right, Colo. Here's where we act. Remember, he's a friend. We mustn't hurt him. Yes, it's one. Now, Colo. <coughs> Close the door. Quick, Colo. In this corner, quick, my friend. Right. Colo, stand in front of that cell door so nobody will see us as they pass by. Yes, it's one. And better lock that door again. That is well. In luck. Now. No time for long discussion. You read note? Yes. Who are you? Operator 13? Never mind. No time talk. Here I have rope. You tie me up. I will tell you what to do. Okay. Come on, key, The key to your cell will open other door to cell of Mrs. Chalmers. Yeah? You will find corridor clear. Go to end of it where you find trap door in floor. Yeah? Open trap door. Go downstairs where you find provisions 
and arms waiting for you. I see. End of corridor. Trap door. Get arms and provisions. Well, then what? You will find sacred passage leading underground, out of camp. When and if you reach safety, notify United States Consul. Well, I'm not going back to the United States Consul until I get Bluger. That's what I was sent here for. Good. I will tell you how to do it. You can? How? Bluger will be in apartment of Operator 13 at 10 o'clock tonight. Oh, tell me. Who is Operator 13? Cannot tell you who that is, Jungle Jim. But we'll tell you how to find the apartment. Well, all right, tell me. It's 9.30 now. Apartment is in North Wing. Third floor at end of East Corridor. Mm, I suppose I'll find guards all over the place. The guards you find in East Corridor are friendly. Fine. All right, now. Take this handkerchief, Colo, and gag our friend here, and we're all set. Yes, sir. <coughs> well, so long, friend. I hope I'll be able to do something for you someday. No. All right, Colo. Coast clear? Yes, it's one. I know see nobody. All right. Let's open this door. We not take Missy Chalmers? You bet we will. Right now. Lynn. Lynn. Jim? Quiet. Come, Lynn. Hurry. Oh, Jim, where are we going? Uh, never mind that now. Come on. Uh, are we going too fast for you, Lynn? No, Jim. I'm all right. No, we haven't much further to go. There's the end of the corridor. Now, now there, there should be a trap door someplace here. Colo. Look for a nine ring on the floor. Yes, it's one. I know. See, here. I found it. Here it is. Now help me, Colo, to lift this trap door. <clears throat> Quiet now. All right, Lynn. Down these steps. Yes, Jim. Colo, you're next. Yes, it's one. Now, let's put this door in place again. That's it. Down. Yeah. <laughs> Are you all right, Lynn? Yes, Jim, but it's dark as pitch. Yeah. Be careful now. There's a light down there near the end of the passageway. Do you know where this leads, Jim? And out of the camp. But before we go out, I've got something to do. Uh, oh, here we are. Here are guns, Twan Jim. Yes, and there's something in a bag, too. Well, those are provisions. Now, Cola, look. You take this rifle and these two pistols. Yes, Twan. And I'll take this automatic. What you do now, Twan? You stay here and wait for me. But, yes. Jim... I'm going back to get Bluger. That's what I was sent here for. Will Jungle Jim finally succeed in the great adventure of capturing Derek Bluger? The adventures you have just heard dramatized will be shown in full-color action pictures in the Comic Weekly. The Big Comic Weekly, distributed with your Hearst Sunday newspaper everywhere. In the world's greatest pictorial supplement of humor and adventure, you will find all the famous characters who live in the world of color pictures. There's Skippy, the Katzenyama Kid, Bringing Up Father, Barney Google, The Little King, Toots and Casper, Flash Gordon, and many, many others. See all these famous characters in your copy of next Sunday's Comic Weekly, and don't forget our date next week, Same time, same station for a continuation of the adventures of Jungle Jim. Jungle Jim.